This shoe won't be sneaker of the year, but it does make a strong case for potentially being the most popular sneaker this summer. Let me explain. Yo, what is good everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. For today's video, as you probably already read in the title description or the thumbnail, we're going to be highlighting a sneaker that encompasses all the makings for what could potentially be a very popular shoe. The Military Black Jordan 4 features a moderately nice quality leather, insanely versatile color blocking, and is currently selling for close to retail. For those reasons, I do believe this sneaker will be an all-around favorite for sneakerheads, fashion enthusiasts, and casuals alike. But before I expound and throw them on feet with a few different outfits, I'd like to give a big thank you and special shout out to today's sponsor, Depop. If you guys didn't already know, Depop is your one-stop app to find all things related to fashion and streetwear at some of the most competitive prices on the market. While there's a lot to love about the app, you can find me shopping their wide array of vintage and of course listing some of my personal pre-owned heat from my wardrobe. As a matter of fact, I went ahead and did a bit of a closet clean out, so be sure to check and shop my account at Paul Fuentebella and some of the unique items I liked. Below, you'll find a unique link that will take you straight to Depop. Once again, big thank you to Depop for making today's video possible. And without further ado, let's go and jump right back into the topic at hand, and that is the Jordan 4 Military Black. Let's go ahead and talk about the sneaker, do a quick rundown of what you can come to expect once you've officially received your pair. Beginning at the outsole, we have a standard Jordan 4 outsole highlighted by the stars at the toe, herringbone jagged paneling with the Jumpman logo at the midfoot, all comprised of a durable rubber. Working our way through the midsole, it is black and white throughout, comprised of a polyurethane with an encapsulated air sole unit and window at the heel. And then of course, working our way up to the upper, which begins with a suede mud guard at the toe region that is comprised of just okay quality, not bad, but not anything incredible per se. However, what's really refreshing is the upgrade in quality leather that they opted for for this pair. I have the Fire Red 4s, which are good, but are fully eclipsed in terms of leather quality when compared to the military black fours. But similarly to the fire red fours, in addition to other fours like the lightnings, they do feature the rubber net paneling, contrast plastic eye stays, and the OG sleeker profile shape that we've been loving as of late. Jordan Brand finished this sneaker up with a super clean satin jump man tag and the matching sock liner, which give this casual sneaker a more chic feel. No hang tag, no additional laces, which would have been a nice touch, but not necessarily a deal breaker in my opinion. Now, as it pertains to sizing, on the slight chance you're unfamiliar with Jordan 4s, I do recommend taking your true to size size with some of you requiring a half size up from your typical Nike or Jordan brand shoes. While many will be fine going true to size, I personally prefer a half size up due to this shoe having a little bit more padding. For reference, I take an 8.5 in Jordan 1s and a 9 in Adidas. In Jordan 4s, I always go for a size 9 for optimal comfort and fit. Now, I don't think this would be a hype sneaker video if we didn't touch on resale prediction. And full disclaimer, I'm not a sneaker investor and your guess is probably just as good as mine, but current resale on these is relatively tame. And in many cities across the United States, they're actually sitting in stores for retail. I do anticipate this shoe going up in value over time as we see them more and more on various celebrities and influencers. Honestly, I can see these filling the role of the Panda Dunk, which was formerly filled by the White Air Force One, because just like those shoes, these go with just about everything. So needless to say, I wouldn't doubt these shoes being flooded all over TikTok and as a byproduct of that, driving the price up. In terms of trajectory, I do see somewhat of a bell curve forming, starting low as of now, peaking at some point around the summer at like 325-ish, and then calming down as pairs begin to saturate the market. 
And so for those reasons, if you have any interest in this shoe, I think right now is an excellent time to pick them up with a very high chance of getting them close to retail. This shoe is sure to be a safe investment. It shouldn't go down below retail, even if worn a little bit. I'm no sneaker investor. I'm not a predictor of anything relating to what the market will look like, but I will have to say that this should be a safe bet. Between the easy to wear color blocking, a highly celebrated silhouette in the Jordan 4, and a relatively low entry point, this shoe won't be sneaker of the year, but it would make a strong case as the most popular sneaker of the summer. Now, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and style these a few different ways, featuring a plethora of different bottoms so you can get a feel for how versatile these sneakers actually are. All right, so to go ahead and start things out, we've got an outfit geared around a pair of flare corduroy pants. These are what's known as the B356. They fit relaxed through the thigh, narrow down at the knee, and then open up for a flare to the ankle. This pair is a definitely ultra unique as it's comprised of contrast paneling and is made up of corduroy material. The aim for this segment was to go ahead and give you guys a few different looks related to the Jordan 4 Military Black and how they can be potentially worn. In this specific example, you've got the covered sneaker look, which has been a regular practice of mine as of late. I went ahead and topped the outfit off with a simple white Fear of God Union collab tee to allow the pants to really be that statement piece in the outfit. And that's outfit number one. Oh, also side note, I'll go ahead and include any links and promo codes to the pieces in the styling segment, and that will be provided in the description down below. This next outfit aims to accomplish a bit more of an athleisure aesthetic, being comfortable, stylish, and of course, functional. The bottoms are a nylon Richie Lee cargo pant in black. I love these things, you guys know, you know, Richie's been doing his thing with regard to his clothing, and I'm just super proud of the guy. He's been smashing it out of the park, and it sells out instantly. These specific ones are great because you get all the utility that comes along with wearing a pair of cargos, fused with the comfort and mobility of, say, a pair of nylon track pants. The top is a boxy six collection Fear of God logo tee. And of course, for the toe, we've got the military black Jordan 4s. And a lot of what you'll see with these outfits is proportions with intention. So with the slimmer bottoms, I'll typically take a baggier top and with the baggier bottoms, I'll go ahead and opt for a slightly more fitted top. This next outfit, I've got on a pair of tan trousers with a Chrome Hearts long sleeve t-shirt. You can find these dickies at any Tilly's. I'll have them linked below for your shopping convenience because this specific pair is unlike the standard A74. Uh, this one has a slightly more slim cut to them. So if you're still a part of that camp that is a bit apprehensive about that baggier look, Go ahead and shop these pants because they're that happy alternative. And now moving on to the next outfit, I decided to go ahead and throw on a pair of camo cargos. Uh, this particular pair fits somewhere in between straight and baggy. And for that reason, and the fact that they are green, I went with a vintage Pearl Jam tee that does also feature the green accents for the back graphic. Uh, this tee is a size large, which is a slight step down from my typical oversized look in an extra large for vintage tees that I generally go for. This is in light of that general rule of thumb that I kind of mentioned earlier with regard to proportions with intention. And now moving on to the next look and actually the outfit that I'm currently wearing. For this one, I decided to go ahead and put on one of my favorites right now. This is a constant wear or go to for me. I've been shopping a ton of these specific pairs of pants a lot over the course of the last years. I've accumulated so many pairs and that is none other than the Levi's 501. This colorway is kind of like a sandier light blue, like sandier wash light blue, which I find to be super complimentary to just about 
every shoe. Moving on up through the outfit, I am wearing a vintage t-shirt. It's actually a t-shirt I have on right now. Uh, it's a Tupac tee, very, very fire. And this one does fit a bit more oversized. It is a Bay Club 2XL. Um, and the reason for that being is that uh, this pair of denim does fit a little bit uh, more slim than a standard 501. Uh, just because it's been washed so many times uh, specifically this is an orange tag and then of course i've gotten the hat as well as the chain and that makes up the second to last look as i've kind of already mentioned this is going to be a sneaker of the summer at least in my humble estimation and that's why i had to go ahead and throw on a pair of shorts now i really could have gone any route with any shorts but uh, this specific pair of shorts is the minimal sweat shorts in vintage faded black I love this pair and I like it because it does add a little bit of contrast as I did go ahead and opt for a pure black t-shirt. The t-shirt is Dior from a few seasons ago in collaboration with Stussy and just an overall, a nicely fitting t-shirt. I feel like this is gonna be a regular style of outfit throughout the duration of summer as it has been kind of a theme every summer. The shorter shorts, you got the mid-level socks, a fire pair of sneakers and either a vintage tee or like a designer tee. And uh, that's gonna do it for the last outfit. Very simple, but very functional for the summer months. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the Jordan 4 in military black. Is it a cop? Is it a drop? Is it a hold? Is it a sell? I do believe that they're gonna go up in value over time. I don't think they're gonna go crazy astronomical, but I do definitely see this shoe being a crowd pleaser um, as the days pass. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I do appreciate you all immensely for stopping by the channel. Truly is such a huge privilege of mine to get to make content for kind people like yourself. Again, huge thank you and shout out to Depop for sponsoring today's video. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace and be blessed.